Well, we have our fourth named storm of the year, which is Tropical Storm Debbie. It has finally made its way through the Gulf of Mexico. Winds are up to 40 miles per hour and is moving northwest at 14 miles per hour. And due to the prolonged period of time over the Gulf of Mexico, the National Hurricane Center expects this storm to make landfall through the Big Bend region of Florida by Monday late, late, Monday late morning or early Monday afternoon as a Category 1 hurricane. Now, taking a look at what the GFS Ensemble has to say, we're starting to see the models starting to come into agreement as we're honing in towards a potential path through Florida and into the southeastern corner of Georgia. Now we still have a hurricane warning for portions of, of the Florida Big Bend and the majority of the Florida Gulf Coast, they're still under a tropical storm warning. Now taking a look at what the future view has to say, we're expecting this storm to gain strength as we're seeing some organization in regards to the eye wall. Now by Sunday afternoon, we can see some impacts to Tampa Bay and Fort Myers. However, by Sunday late night and early Monday morning, we're expecting the storm to make landfall through the Florida Big Bend. Now notice Monday afternoon, so one o'clock, we're starting to see the future view provide rainfall for the southeastern corner of central Georgia, and this will be the theme for the rest of Monday heading into Tuesday early morning, so we can see increased rainfall and gusts of up to 40 miles per hour to 35 miles per hour for the southeastern and the eastern counties. Now looking at the long range future view, the GFS and the Euro, they're in agreement that the storm will stall just south of South Carolina until Tuesday morning and then they'll have a storm go inland towards South Carolina. Now the GFS has the storm going more inland to, uh, to Georgia and the Euro has the storm uh, heading more towards the north. So there's still some uncertainty in regards to the forecast. But due to the future view having the storm impacting the southeastern uh, counties of central Georgia, we have issued a weather impact alert day for Monday and for Tuesday. So when this starts for, at around Monday midday until Tuesday midday. So we're expecting flooding and gusty winds. So winds of up to 35 to 40 miles per hour. So what do you need? Well, you need your phone to have uh, updates by the National Hurricane Center and 13 WMAZ. And if you see any potential flooded, flooded roads, turn around, don't drown. Stay tuned, we'll have more updates soon.